my father for his birthday, Leon Furby. Um, so this is my niece, Courtney Furby. So without further ado, I want to introduce the beautiful author and confidence coach, Courtney Furby, to the Sunday Night Wind Down. The floor is all yours, Courtney. Tell everybody hey. a little bit about this one. Okay. Hello, beautiful. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, throw those hearts up, everybody. Throw those hearts up. Y'all know how we welcome our guests. <laughs> Thank you all so much for inviting me, first of all. Y'all have me so weak backstage. <laughs> 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 but um, I would like to say, well, first introduce myself. My name is Courtney Furby. And like um, my uncle Leon said, I am an author of an amazing children's book. And then also I am a confidence coach. So I'm dedicated to support young teenagers and women um, redefining their confidence through self-esteem, um, self-worth, identity. Um, so I'm so excited about that. Also, I love, love, love empower women i love to see us all win and then also i have a youtube channel where i also um express uh, encouraging videos vlogs and also fashion tips so that's a little about me um so i guess i should start off by saying how i even started the children's book or how I even thought about. So um, the children's book is called Lauren Saves the Bully. It's pretty much about a little girl. She's six years old. She's in elementary school. She goes to school and she has a bully. Um, and pretty much she do not want to go back to school. She doesn't feel good about herself. Um, but her mom affirms her at home. And pretty much she goes back to school and she sees the bully um, not having a so good day. She pretty much changes her bully's life. And also the people around the school and her whole school environment. Um, and pretty much that like helped her throughout um, her journey throughout um, elementary school. So this pretty much came about, I wasn't bullied in school, but I felt like I needed to add um, bullying in because that's something that children experience every day and then also like growing up as a little girl my mom affirmed me uh, which I put that in there but also I didn't feel good about myself growing up um, as a little girl um, everyone thought you know I was the bubbly girl the pretty girl but I still never felt good about myself so it's not always you know people can um think that everything is going good but you go home and you know you're crying in your pillows and everything and stuff just not going great so that's how i wanted to pretty much add um my childhood life in there also add um about society in there as far as bullying as well so that's how it kind of came along um actually i wrote the book probably about a year ago and I just now, so that's how um, it you know, publishing it and everything. And that's because, you know, sometimes it gets um, discouraging sometimes. Sometimes you think, you know, this may not get to the people that you need it to get to. But also, like, uh, publishing this book was a great experience. Um, like, it has been such amazing support. Um, so I'm so excited about it. Um, and I guess before I leave, I'll tell you all how to get the book. Um, also, I think someone said, what's your YouTube channel? It's Classy Court TV, um, but Classy is spelled with a K. Um, so you all can subscribe there. Um, and then also about uh, the confidence coach. Now, because I've done it all my life, um, uh, encouraging women, little girls, teenagers, all my life, I thought, yes. Um, I thought, like, maybe, you know, I just didn't have a name for it. So one day, a lady walked up to me and said, can you be my confidence coach? Wait, can you be a confidence coach for my daughter? And I was like, bingo, there it goes. So um, that's how that came along. So I'm super excited. Um, I have many clients now. Um, and it's just a great impact on them. Um, because at first I didn't know what I was getting into. I just thought, you know, this is something I'm just experiencing. But a lot of different teenagers and a lot of women really need confidence. You need confidence throughout life, period. Um, so I'm super excited about that. So if you all have any questions or anything, you're more than happy to ask. <laughs> 
Look at that. Look at that smile. Wow. <laughs> that is just amazing. Well, I have a question. If I can start it off, what made you decide to become an author? Well, I never thought in my wildest dreams an author would even be a part of me. But one day I was literally um, at work and I started writing. I literally started writing. Um, it was nothing but God to be 100% honest mm. with you. Um, so, like, I just literally just started writing. And the next day, I finished the entire book. Don't know how. I promise you, author. I believe. Every time someone says, you know, I think you'll be an amazing author or something, that goes across my head because... Mm. <laughs> Never, but yeah, um, I literally just, I wrote it at work, actually. So, so what led you to write the children book? Uh, what made you write children genre? Because I actually, um, I love children. Absolutely mm -hmm. love children. And um, at work, the children that comes off of the school bus, I work at, a, at least an office assistant property manager. When they come, they come to the office every Friday to get candy mm -hmm. from me. And mm -hmm. I heard about three stories about little girls being bullied. So yeah. being the person that I am, I wanted to go to the school, but <laughs> because I just love children and I, I don't like the, the bullying part, but right. it really inspired me to write the book because I didn't know how much um, bullying was actually in elementary school. I'm like, children are so cruel, but I didn't know how much, you know, it really affected a lot of little girls' lives. Like, they, you know, wanted hugs after school, you know, crying, didn't feel good, you know what I'm saying? They didn't want to tell their parents, because you know how parents get, they go mm -hmm. to the school and it's a wrap. So, <laughs> so yeah, so that really inspired me, just the children coming to let me know that they've been bullied and me just affirming them as well and helping them, you know, get through, you know, life and stuff. And to this day, you know, they come and they say, you know, they don't bully me anymore. So I'm so excited, Aww. you know, yeah. you know, I had the pleasure to affirm them, to let them know how, you know, beautiful they are and, you know, their self-worth and everything. And that led them to ignore their bully. So. Wow, I like that. I like that. <laughs> I want to say something. Um, and I'm not just saying this because you're my blood family. I'm big on energy, and I just I just feel like you exude, I can feel your confidence, I can feel your positivity. Like I'm a positive person, but I'm like, she's like, I can just Feel it just from looking at you through the screen. Yeah, you, know, you can <laughs> see it on her face. She has a glow. Yeah, it's just a, yeah, a beautiful glow. <laughs> this on, this is what I be telling people. I'm not yeah, going with the glow now because y'all got some things that y'all can do to make y'all face glow. We learned that on <laughs> we learned that on Battle of the Sexes, so I ain't going with that. <laughs> Don't let me bring nail up here. He he didn't didn't it, man, did he? <laughs> I'm taking it there. But, but yeah, um, but it's just something like I don't know. It's just I, I think that's something that's that like that's given from the most high that you it's have. Star you know what I'm saying? Star seed. Um, let me ask you this in your days that you're down, how do you or are there situations that you still that you're not confident in, in yourself as a coach? Um yeah, com confident in making sure that the clients that I have experience, you know, I don't want them to leave not knowing, you know, how uh, valuable they are. You know, some people you just can't get to. And that that's something that because I want everyone, every client that I have, I want everyone to experience when they leave that they are the most confident person that they've ever been before. And, um, you know, so sometimes you can't, I have to learn that you can't get to everyone. Everyone is not going to um, 
you know, receive the cup. Sometimes they're just not in a place to receive yeah. it. And a lot of clients that I have are teenagers or even younger. So, you know, like sometimes they they just don't, you know, want to experience that right now. It, it's right. something that they will experience later on. So that's just a little something that I just have to work on. But it's days that I don't have it. But mm -hmm. a lot of people depend on me to have it. And I have to learn that it's okay to have those down days, you know, at work. If I'm not feeling right and I'm not having, you know, they're like, what's wrong with you? Did you have a bad day? What happened? And you'd be like, nothing. I just don't feel it. You know, I just don't, I just don't feel like it. But, you know, a lot of people depend on that from me. So I have to learn how to still have those days, but still show up for others. Underst hey, you know what? Very well said. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I just want to give you this as a positive, as a life coach, aspiring life coach to get my certification. And, and I think that, I think it's important to know that some things we can't just fix. It's that's up to God to fix. You know, right. what I'm saying? and there's nothing wrong with giving our best foot forward to that. You know, there's mm -hmm. no knock on us for not being, and there's nothing personal that we can't fix. Everyone, that's not our job, um, but it's our job to give them what God has given us to give to them, and He'll fix it. Mm -hmm. Brittany said hello, Court. Hi, Brit. <laughs> <laughs> See that right there? I don't even, I don't even got that. <laughs> that, look, <laughs> that right there just was like just joy. I don't have that. I'm like, I'm like yo, what up, Britt? And that would have been all that. Thank you. Yeah. How sweet. T. Um, are you working on any future books? Yes, actually, it's so crazy because somebody said I'll be at the next book release, and I'm like, "What next book release?" <laughs> <laughs> right, they want it right away. Huh? I said, right, they want it right away. Like you just got finished writing, and they want the next one already. They want it right then. <laughs> they want it right then. I am going to write another one. Yes, uh, so I am so excited. I guess it's something that keeps going. So yeah, yeah. I made you a promise, and I'm gonna keep my promise. You don't remember, do you? you know, I, don't. I, I made you a promise when when Keon passed away. I, well, I, I might I might have been talking to your mom, but I mean I said that he, he want his passing. So my nephew Keon, you know what I'm saying? Y'all remember my nephew passed? Mm -hmm. That's her brother. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so, okay. Yeah. So I, I made I made his mom. I, I can't remember I was talking to you, but I said he won't die. He his death won't go in vain. So I I promised to put my book out, and all three of y'all are authors. So I be damned if I don't fulfill that legacy. So I have to. It's time. It, I got to do it. It's not confirmation. <laughs> She gave me the extra motivation because I'm sitting here thinking about writing a thousand page book, but it doesn't have to be that at all. You know what I mean? So, um, and I, and, and I salute all of you, all of you for being authors and I admire y'all, you know what I'm saying? So thank you. You know what I mean? It takes a lot of dedication and hard work, you know, so. Definitely. Yeah. Um, what was the foundation? What was the foundation for you to, um, um, to become an author, you know, I'm mean? just, 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 just your getting say, you know what? Let me knuckle down and get this done. Like, you know, what was the motivation? What was the why behind that? Now, I got to, you be, <laughs> to be like one hundred percent honest, I literally was sitting at work. And one of my mentors were online and they were saying how, you know, you all, um, the people that you all think that you're not going to be authors, you're going to be authors. And I, when I saw the children and I was like, the children are, is my main reason for actually write, writing a book. But I literally just got my pen and started writing. Like, mm -hmm. I don't, it's crazy. I, I know this, this was nothing but God because it's like, it was no reason for me. Well, it was a reason for me to write, but it really wasn't like, 
today I believe that I'm going to be an author. Today I'm just going to go ahead and write a children's book. That wasn't on my mind that morning mm. at all. So, and then the, you know, and the children are definitely the reason why. And um, I believe I'm the first author of my family as well. Oh, snap. Uh, I feel like that's a shot for a double no. bomb. Double bomb. <laughs> Double bomb on that. <laughs> Somebody, hey, look, hey, Karen, hey, Karen, hey, Karen, did you see that? I feel like um, I was the she first. was nice about it. She she tiptoed to it. That was that confidence, like you know, she I think I to it, you know, so that, that she would not step on your little feelings. Hey, man, you know that whole confidence thing came out. I just want to say, I I think I feel like I'm the first. Uh, look, hey, Karen, oh, she, I'm the first author of the family. I like that too. I like that. I like that. Hey, listen, baby. I Hey, I'm so proud. We all proud of you. You Thank set the bar high. I love it. Thank love you. It. And you know what? Be the first one and the second one on top of that. Put the first two out. That just give me the, something I got to catch. I love it. Thank you. Love Thank it. Thank you. <laughs> so if you are, um, would like to purchase a book, Yes. You could go to classycourtllc.com. Um, classy is spelled with a K. And um, it has a link on the website. And you can. Classy Court? It. Yes. Classycourtllc.com. And you could go up there and. There you go. You could go up there and you can purchase okay. a book. And um, it will be on Amazon, I believe, in the next two weeks. Um, so if you would like to now, you can go ahead and purchase the book. Also, if you would like to follow me on social media, my Instagram is Classy Court with the K. And Twitter is Classy underscore Court. Everything is Classy Court. So right. um, <laughs> if you would like to follow me, you're more than happy to. I'm doing it right now. Hey, y'all know how we feel about our I authors. Got you. Y'all know how we feel about our authors on the Sunday Night Wind Down. So please, you know, it, you, even baby girl. is a um is a children's book where just you know after you read it, just donate it. You know, um, especially about bullying. Um, you know, our society. I'm not trying to be funny, but certain demographics they're not going to they don't care about what we go through they don't care about bullying they don't care about our self-esteem issues they don't care about the things that we go through so you know we have to each one teach one from our own we have to pull from each other and we have to the way we do that is through resources so please support the book and you know what i'm saying even if you have to read it and give it away gift it gift it you know what i'm saying so you know that's exactly what i'll be doing um we I have we have the copies in our home, so I'll purchase a few more to just give to um some schools actually. Let me see. They will be great for children um mm. birthday gifts, y'all. What age group is this for, Courtney? Um, ages six to twelve years old. Okay, it will be great birthday gifts. You know, I know we all have nephews, grands, or whatever. It will be great gifts and um, stocking stuffers. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Sean says she'll give it to her great nephews. When she, yeah, Sean is a great supporter. Um, oh, thank you. What's your, what's your cash out? Text me your cash out. Cause okay. Can I get my personal? <laughs> can I get my personal lines? Like, I'm just sure, saying. I signed all, right. all the books and okay. I put a personal message in every one of them. All right, bet. Mm -hmm. Oh, Tara says she is. She wants to send one to her niece. Thank you, thank you, y'all. That's thank so. You. Text me your text me your cash out. I I just send you my money personally. I found her on Facebook too. You know, we got that kind of relationship. We can. Yes. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> so, all right. Um, yeah, that was just amazing. Um, what? Do you, Oh, I'm sorry. Go, go I want to ask Courtney one thing. Go ahead. Are, are you on Amazon or anything yet? I will be on Amazon in two weeks. Okay. Um, what I was going to um, say, you know, I, I know that it helps you if they buy the books from you money-wise. 
but I was going to suggest that we still order from Amazon because it also needs to build her up on Amazon. So yeah. even if you just do a Kindle version or whatever, please support her when she goes up to Amazon and please leave a review. That's the one thing we always know let to do is to leave a review and reviews are what grow the community of the authors. So look, y'all, we got about five more minutes with court. Ask y'all questions. Um, damn, I had a question for you. Um, what's next for you? And oh, first and foremost, mm -hmm. what what advice do you get? What advice would you give to a, any a young lady mm -hmm. that's that's going through a situation? You know what I mean? And she don't know how to get out of it. And also, what's next for you? Okay. Um, as far as like what confidence goes, you know, it's not something that um, happens overnight. Um, it's something that kind of develops, um, you know, as years go by. Sometimes it takes five years. Sometimes it takes three years. It's not something that because it didn't happen for me overnight. But I say to you, um, affirmations are so important. Um, that's if you um, have sticky notes and you put them on your mirror if you put them um, somewhere where when you wake up, this is something that you see. If that's if you roll over and you the, your phone is the first thing you grab, if that's something that you can put on your phone to know um, when you wake up in the morning, something that you need to say. You know, if it's uh, self esteem, it's like you know I'm beautiful, I'm more than enough. You know, some affirmations that will keep you going, um, you know, throughout life is something that I still use affirmations to this day. And, you know, I'm very confident, but I still need, um, you know, to just be poured into every day. So um, and then I also tell you, it's not something it's something that you have to do inside first before you work on um, outer appearance. A lot of people come to me and say, you know, I don't like the way I dress. But it's something that you have to work on the inside of you first because when you when you feel good, you look good. You know what I'm saying? So um, mm -hmm. I feel like it's something on the inside that you have to work on first. So that's like getting to know who you are personally. Date yourself. A lot of women do not date themselves, and I'm so surprised that you know they be like, "You look crazy going out by yourself at a restaurant." Oh, you mean that kind of date? I was girl, I'm getting ready to go to the car store and get me a. Uh, hey, T, she wanted to go get a rose. Uh, she said, "Date yourself." Oh, 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 girl, look, I started listening then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, date yourself if you can go to the restaurant um, by yourself, movies by yourself. It's more. It's like uh, it's something where you know your your self love come from. You know date yourself that is so 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 important um if you do those two things and you know you really get to know who you are and be true to your own self i promise you you will you know you'll be the best you'll be the best person that you can be and you can only be yourself you try to be other people it will never work um and then yeah. what's next for me hmm who knows <laughs> um i, like I am that. actually working on uh like i told you all i'm working on uh, a children's book um so i'm super excited about the next one so um there's a lot of different things like behind the scenes i'm actually working on a confidence camp as well um so that confidence camp uh, me and my cousin is getting together and we're going to have a weekend retreat um for teenagers and you know what i'm saying we have speakers and games and fun you know just some things, you know, a lot of teenagers don't like to tell their parents. So it just let their hair down, you know, just have a, a breather. And, you know, everything has been virtual now. So there's a lot of things that, you know, children and teenagers are dealing with. So it would be something that we're going to, you know, experience. So I'm excited for what's next, though. Man, I'm so proud of you. Like, Thank you don't even you. understand. You don't just, no, no. It's not just saying that. Like in my heart is like, it makes me so proud. You know, it makes me so proud that you my family. And even if you wasn't, I feel like you would be a kindred spirit of mine because you're not out here twerking. And not to say nothing wrong with that, <laughs> whatever. Everybody do what they do. 
You know what I'm saying? And maybe when you go to Miami with your girlfriends, you are twerking. I don't want to see it. <laughs> Do you? You know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying, <laughs> you know, but what I'm saying is like that's you know, you don't have a you don't got an OnlyFans, do you? I do not. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Courtney, baby, I'm gonna talk to you behind the scenes. We gonna start one, but we gonna turn this thing around. Praise you have a clean fans Won't only. He do it. No, my do, my niece ain't handle no damn only fans. <laughs> All right, thank you, Lord Jesus, in the name of I'm shut up, I'm, 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 Lord, I'm, baby. I'm, I, I just got two two books from your site. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Oh, I that's no you. problem. Thank you. Yeah, she's uh, Karen. You know, I and actually that's how the show came about. I introduced T to Karen because Karen. Me, that's how we met. I was supposed to wrote a book back in two thousand something something teen. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> and uh, that's how we became friends. But uh, I, I just want to say that I'm so proud of you, and I love you. Like you made my heart feel so warm uh, because you give me hope for our future. Um, and you know, you're just wonderful, man. And keep pushing. Mm -hmm. Your yeah. your your your. It is not. It's not. It's not often that I draw inspiration from a younger generation but right. i do for you and i love you so much i love you too <laughs> all right y'all so courtney you got to stay on we move into the next segment okay. we're going to talk about generation z don't be laughing at me y'all <laughs> yeah, i know it's right sentimental right. that's his sentimental side coming out yeah yeah I'm, you I'm should be family. proud i mean i would be proud too you should be proud. Well, oh, well, I'm I'm taking it there for my family. Like we that's going, right. I'm Harris going is gonna the be there. the next author of the family, by the way. Yeah, no, not next. I'm next up. Like, Harris I'm, gonna beat him. Harris gonna beat him out. <laughs> damn, Karen. You right. Thank you for the damn, Harris gonna be God too. damn. Karen got a good two decades. God damn. Well, Harris is gonna be well, see, Paris is gonna actually be an author before she reaches high school. Watch and see. Mm. She is smart enough to do she it. Is. Watch and see. You know how, how the schools, some of the schools, they will um, have kids to write stories and then publish the books. Paris is going to be one of those. You are exactly, she's definitely on that level. Yeah. So, all right, y'all. So we're going to move to the next segment, which is Generation Z. We want to know what is your... So Courtney just left the teenage years. She can, she can definitely uh feel where they're coming from uh, i think you might still be in generation z though how old are you courtney 27. oh hell no, no. You, <laughs> yeah, you, you almost you two years away from me Shit, i i thought you, i don't know why i still thought you was 21. Oh God damn. me and you about to be clubbing together <laughs> matter of fact can i get on your insurance